Hi everyone, it's the English Summer here and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Get To Work. So this part was actually meant to go up yesterday and I pretty much tried to record it about seven times. For some reason, the YouTube gods just didn't want me to upload. And then when I was even watching the video back, I was like, you know what? My voice is cracking, I sound grumpy because my game kept crashing for some odd reason. But um, I decided to just scrap that part, so a little bit did happen off screen. I have actually updated Sky's store quite a lot, and I know I said in the last part we were going to spend the day with Sky, but we did that off screen, so I decided to go to work with Theo instead, and I was just going to play this off screen so that we could jump straight into Sky's score store that's really hard to say when you're not thinking about it properly but I was gonna jump straight into that in this part but then I was like you know what we've never had a house call before and this little notification right here just popped up so for all of those of you who don't have get to work or have never experienced this I've never experienced it and a house call is pretty darn cool so I was like I may as well just for start recording right here, right now. So house call. Someone has called the hospital asking for a doctor to come to their house for help. Click on the front desk to travel to the house call. Okay, sweet. So he's currently just giving um, an x-ray to someone. But then I think we're going to go to that person's house. I'm kind of hoping it's like the cranks or something. So I'm going to give you a quick little run through of what happened yesterday. What are you doing? You can't just walk into the hospital and start using our computer. Unknown psychology, uh, Mackenzie Coat is definitely not from this planet. Not sure what it expects from this hospital, but let's just carry on as if, as if nothing strange happened. So, she's an alien. <laughs> um, wow. Okay. Was not expecting that, but he's gonna go readmit her, and then we're gonna go to the, um, don't even talk to Riley. Sorry, Riley, but we're gonna go to that house call. Oh wow, you get like a notification here as well. This is so cool. Are you sure you want to send your sim on a house to call? It will transport them to another lot. Yes, duh, that is what I want. I have not actually upgraded the hospital yet. I know a lot of you have been asking me to use Delhi hospital, Delhi's hospital that she made. And I honestly think Delhi is so talented. Um, we don't really talk a lot anymore, which I guess I'm just really busy. I haven't really been on Twitter all that much. Oh, we're at the Calientes. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. Whilst um, I was recording off screen, we actually hit on Bella Goth and we got a kiss with her. So she's like our first sim to have a strong romantic relationship with. Obviously, we are going after Katrina next. Um, so yeah, Katrina's gonna going to get a little bit of a taste of a doctor doctor hotness over here as i like to call him so click on a patient on the house call to examine once patient has been examined they can be treated okay friendly introduction who was ill like do we just have to oh it's like these guys with the notification is this riley oh no i was like damn she is like following us everywhere but this this sim this sim wow Dina is ripped. Look at Dina's back muscles. Girl, you work out. Look at those shoulders. Whew. I've recently just started working out and it's killing me. I have to say, I am probably the least healthy person ever and I am aching so much. And I'm probably going to mention it in like all my videos because I'm proud of myself that I've actually started working out because that's a first for me. Um... But yeah, I really dislike it. I want back muscles like Dina. I am jealous. So here we go. Um, we did that. We're going to give her medicine. Um, we examined her. So now I guess we just have to give her medicine to make her better, which is quite good. Um, so he's like, here you go. Take this. Take this weird brown bottle right here and you'll cheer right up. And we're going to examine this patient as well. So we've got one out of three. So where's the third? Who is the third person that's sick? I love how it's not even the Calientes. Like, there's just random sims in their house that come over, like, 
Katrina, I'm ill. Take care of me. <laughs> Katrina is like the mummy of this neighborhood. So I can see why like all these females would come around and just be like, help me. I need a mum and you're the one closest to me. So, oh, she's like, oh, I've got a tummy ache. This weird bottle of stuff, that just looks very ominous to me. Like that does not seem like something that would make you feel better. Uh, we're gonna go examine this last patient as well. I do love how literally everyone who's sick doesn't actually live in this house. What is that about? <laughs> just feeling sick so you're just like, you know what, I'm gonna go spread it to my neighbours and three people happen to go and do that. Oh my goodness, how does this work? Sometimes this game confuses me. I was like, fair enough if it's like the Calientes, like they all live together, they're obviously gonna like catch things because they're all in such close proximity. But no, just three random sims walking around town being like Katrina would know what to do. Maybe it's because Katrina has a little bit of a thing for Theo, so she was like, come on over to mine, I can get the hot doctor around to examine you. And all the girls were like, hell yeah, we're about to come do that. Here, here, you helped all the patients. Pat on the back. Thanks game, I'm, I gave myself a pat on the back. You did a great job. Now it's time to go back to work. There are more patients to treat. Click on your sim and select return to the hospital. Okay, return to hospital. Oh wow, this is like throwback to like earlier sims. That music, that music though. That was a throwback and a half. I can't even remember what sims game that's out of originally. Maybe it was the original sims. But that was a throwback. Da -da -da. <laughs> I'm not going to sing for you guys because your ears will bleed and I'm not going to be held responsible for that. So here we go. We need to uh, run some more tests. Uh, we were working on this chick. Oh no, now Katrina's sick. <laughs> um, who were we working on? We were working on this one right here. So we're going to analyze her patient sample because we did actually get one. Why can we not, why, why can we not analyze a patient sample? What? We got her sample. Oh man, we're going to have to go do it again. Uh, okay, maybe we'll go focus on Katrina. So we are going to, um, we're going to refer her for an x-ray because we need to run tests and scan a patient's, oh no, that's not, that is it. Okay, I guess we'll just scan her body. Um, scan body. There we go. That's what I like to see. We just cured you. Janine clearly just wants a piece of Theo because, oh wow, she's wearing the custom content gown from the Asylum Challenge. That's so cute. I love how they've started wearing like the custom content ones. That's kind of cool. Um, right. Now we can go do a medical referral. So we're going to go x-ray her. Uh, we do actually really need to pee, but we're halfway through our work day and we've got all of this to do. So, sorry Theo, but your bladder comes second to patience right now. Um, that's so mean. I really should take more care of my sims. Theo is actually ripped right now. Like, when he got up this morning, I was like, how are you so ripped? Like, he's only worked out a couple of times. His skill level isn't that high in, um... In fitness, he's like a level two, but he is ripped. Like, he has an eight pack going on. He is one hunky doctor. That's all I'm saying. He's a he's a hot doctor right now, and I am sweltering in my room. You guys know that English love to talk about their weather, and right now, we are all complaining because it's heat wave. It's like 30 degrees today, and I obviously have to keep my window shut whilst I'm recording, and I can't have, like, my fan on or anything, so I... I'm burning up right now. If I start to sound out of breath or like my voice goes like croaky, it's either hay fever or it's the heat. And I love summer, I love the heat, but it's like cloudy outside right now and it's 30 degrees and it's just not fun. So I am not having the best of times. Um, speaking of temperature, we need to take hers. I hate how they like walk so slowly. I'm just like, hurry up. Oh, we're about to kick this chick out of bed for Katrina. <laughs> That's when you know you're like the doctor's favorite patient when he's like, sorry, you're gonna have to move. Um, Katrina actually needs this bed. 
So we're gonna take her temperature, cause you know, she's pretty hot. For a, for an older lady, she's fairly hot. It's Katrina Caliente, come on. All the Calientes, you just can't deny them. And we need to check her ears. We're also gonna get some samples from her so we can analyze her sample. Theo doesn't, still doesn't look confident in his work. He now has a weak diagnosis chance. Uh, we're also going to check her eyes, just so we can um, try and diagnose her correctly. Oh my goodness, she's really not well, bless her. She's like coughing. Um, bloaty head, burning belly. I'm guessing she has llama flu, because she's just like um, coughing a lot. But... I'm going to try and whittle it down. So we're going to analyse her uh, sample for her. Oh man, get out of the room! <laughs> She's like stood there like itching herself. Like that is something you do not want to see. Go go on another bed. Oh, all the beds are actually taken. The hospital's never been this full. But no one's actually here, which makes a change. It seems like Finn is actually doing his job for once. Never really happens. Okay, we really need to pee. Um... Is this like legit the only toilet in the hospital? <laughs> That's so weird. Uh, oh, there's this little kid waiting. He's like the only one. He is looking so swaggy in his outfit. Look at that outfit. He is rocking those purple jeans. I wish I could rock purple jeans. God, that's, he's like, he's like a little fashion guru over here. This is his little brown leather jacket and his Toms or shoes that look like Toms. I don't know if that's like advertising <laughs> Shoes that look like Toms. Let's just let's just say that um, So he's gonna go pee really quick because he needs to and we're gonna log sample analysis results So hurry up Theo Relieve yourself quickly because you need to get back to work. We're almost there. I'm hoping we have one hour 47 minutes left dude get off the PC Leonardo, seriously, we need the PC. Don't give me that face. Look at him. He's like trying to wink at us. I don't even know who this guy is. I've never seen him before. I've never seen him in the hospital before. And it creeps me out when I'm like, I've never seen you before. Who are you? But we're going to go log the sample results on here, I guess, because Leonardo ain't going to be moving. They... In the detective career, they always move. Like, they're like, oh my god, you're higher up than me. Yeah, sure, go for the computer. They're like all such wimps. But in the hospital, they're like, like you're getting this computer. I'm going to sit here. Even though I'm not using it, I'm just going to talk to my co-workers while sat at the computer. Just so you don't get to use it. Doctors, hey. They're like the worst kind of people. I'm joking. I am joking. That was a joke. Please do not take that to <laughs> Um... Should we stay late? Oh, I don't know. Um, we still need to diagnose and treat her. So I am actually going to stay late um, because we do. I really want him to get a promotion and hopefully he will if we can uh, successfully diagnose her. So has it got any higher? Um, compelling diagnosis. Llama flu, sweaty shivers. I kind of want to go for llama flu because that's what I'm thinking it is. Um... Is there anything else we can do? Examine patient, discuss general health. And, oh, but then she's got a temperature, so it might be the sweaty shivers. Um, we're going to refer her for a treadmill test and see what that says. Cosmo is not the first C, so he really isn't doing well in school. Poor little Cosmo. <laughs> I just don't do his homework or don't do any of the things that he's meant to do. So... He literally does like nothing to help in school, which <laughs> sounds really bad, but then I'm like, you know what? We make good enough money and we live a nice lifestyle, so it's not like our kid, like, I know it sounds bad, but he's, he's, he's covered. Let's just say that. His bases are covered. Um, but here we go. Hopefully we'll be able to get a diagnosis out of this. She does not look happy. This is literally me when I'm working out. <laughs> this is my face as I'm running laps around the field. I'm like, oh my god, someone just help me, please. It was hell. I am aching so bad from it. That just shows that I have... What? Yep, yeah, that is me. That is legit me. If I ever went to a gym, that would be me. 
<laughs> you guys need to force me into it though. Like, whenever you see me on Twitter, you have to be like, go for a run or something, because I need it. Um, okay, so we did that. Um, we've literally done like all the things. The results on the uh, inconclusive. Are you serious? How? Right, we're not gonna admit her. We're gonna make her run again. Sorry, Katrina, that you have to do it again. But I want to get this diagnosis, and I want it to be conclusive, and I want to know what's wrong with you. But it doesn't seem like none of the things seem to work. Oh, she just fell flat on her face. Like none of the X-rays or the treadmills ever give us any hints as to what's going on. See, inconclusive again, and she's got like a stitch. <laughs> she's so cute. Um, right, we're just going to readmit her. Um, right, admit patient to the bed. Go and do that. Go readmit her. Oh, he wants to kiss someone. I guess we can. Uh, I kind of want to kiss Katrina. Like, I want her to be our next romantic a thing. Sorry, woman, you're being kicked out of your bed again. <laughs> She's like, God, you've like so non committal making me move. Oh, now Theo's ill. Are you serious? Um, discuss general health with her. I honestly don't think we're gonna get any better results for some reason. I don't know why. Like, is his, does his notebook have anything on? No. So I feel like it's between sweaty shivers and llama flu. And I think I'm going to go for sweaty shivers or llama flu. Oh, uh, maybe llama flu. I'm going to go for llama flu. Um, right, llama flu. Because she was coughing before, but she's got a temperature. But I'm like, flu is the temperature. Oh, I don't know. This could be wrong. I should have gone for temperature probably. Uh oh. This is gonna be wrong. I should why didn't I choose temperature? Um Oh no, this is not good. Right. We're just gonna give it to her. I'm so bad at the doctor career. <laughs> I'm like terrible. I like try and do it and then I just I end up with a 50-50 and whenever I have that choice, I get it wrong. Oh, it was successful and her illness was treated. Boom! There you go, guys. You just have a little, have to have a little bit of confidence in your choices. Wow. If you take anything away from this video, take that you need to have confidence in your first choices. Um, so Theo has been promoted to RN. What's RN? Something nurse? I don't know. I don't know what that means. Uh, he will now make 27 simoleons per hour. Um, he has received 576 simoleons. The Doctor of Medicine diploma? That's kind of scary. Why didn't he have a doctor diploma before he started being a doctor? Like, fairly sure that's not how it works in the real world. Um, and he can now determine baby gender on pregnant sims. That is so cool. So we're definitely going to have to explore that. But that's awesome. He finally got his promotion, which is so good. I'm so proud of him. Little babies growing up. They all are actually. Like, I am so impressed with how well they are doing in their careers. But I think um, now that we are getting, like, we're pretty far in this Let's Play. Um, so I'm thinking I am starting a new Sims 4 Let's Play on Saturday. Fingers crossed. I hope it's Saturday or Sunday. I haven't decided yet, but this weekend a new Sims 4 Let's Play will be coming and I'm thinking with this one I'm probably gonna do quite a lot of the stuff off screen in the jobs that we haven't seen. Um, no, that we have seen and the stuff that we haven't seen like giving birth and well not giving birth but helping a sim give birth <laughs> like i will show all of that on screen so it'll pretty be just be much what what am i trying to say the videos will pretty be much for the careers be things that we haven't seen yet so there we go he got a promotion which is awesome she actually didn't manage to she should have worked hard i should have got her to work hard you can work hard for the last few minutes that you've got um but I think what we are going to do is, I think we're going to try and go on a little date with uh, the Caliente, with Katrina. 
Um, he wants to get to know her. I bet you do. I bet you do, you little player. And we do need to kiss 10 sims, which is gonna be difficult. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not the best when it comes to romances in The Sims 4. Who am I kidding? I'm not good when it comes to romances in general life areas anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna go on a little date with her. I don't know if we'll be able to go on a date with her. Um, yeah, apparently we can't. So hopefully we'll be able to travel with her and it'll be like a little hangout, which will be quite cute. Or we could just go around to the house. We could literally just go knock on their door and be like, yo, what's up? Um, Wanna hang out? I think we're gonna go to the Solar Flare Lounge. I really need to add in more places. Um, where is she even on the list? Katrina, Katrina, Katrina. No, just Nina and Don. Hmm. This is a predicament. We have Bella, we have Riley. We could invite Riley out, I guess. I don't know. Um, we're already pretty high with Bella, so we're gonna invite Riley. Okay, so Katrina might not be on next, but she's on our list. She is on our list. So I'm thinking the three that I'm gonna have like high romance with are Bella, Katrina, and um, Riley, who's actually our co-worker. So things could get a little bit awkward at work, but isn't that the fun of this LP? Um, just having drama here and there. Hopefully Bella won't show up though, cause that would be really freaking awkward. Uh, so we're gonna brighten her day. We are going to discuss our interests with her. Look at them all running. They're like, let me in. Let me at the Solar Flare Lounge. <laughs> Let me at him. I don't think Bella's here, which is good. Um, because we aren't going to get yelled at. Oh, look at this little entertainer right here. <laughs> In her gown. She's very dressed up. Um, we're going to give her a heartfelt compliment. And gossip about co-workers a little bit. We're also going to have a deep conversation. And let's try and get a little bit romantic. Let's flirt with her a little bit. And uh, compliment her appearance. Like I said, I always fall back on those two. I'm like, they tend to work even if your sims aren't that close. They do tend to work. Um, and he really wants to kiss someone. So I'm going to pin this because we will end up kissing her. What was that? Uh, she's glutton. Oh, girl, you are a sinner. Um... We're gonna flirt with her again. And what else should we do? Deep conversation. I don't feel like discussing work. I don't think that's a very romantic topic to talk about or get to know someone through. Please don't be. I'm looking out for Bella. I'm like, Bella could hurt me. Like legitimately, she could hurt me and I'm scared that she's gonna see me at some point and be like, what are you doing? But Riley is falling for us hard. I mean, come on, look at Theo. How could you not fall for that? We should probably change our outfit, though. Because um, <laughs> he is currently in his, like, um, thingy wear. His clothing. His clothing? His work wear. Change your outfit. Who's this? Okay. I thought it was Ellie for a second. So we're going to go and tell her a funny story and continue getting romantic with her um we're gonna flirt again and compliment her appearance again he is so tired bless him i'm sorry theo i feel like you should wow that's a full bar i was like you should go get a drink but then there's literally nowhere to sit <laughs> wow that is full for a bar um we're also going to um, try and blow a kiss. I don't know if she'll accept it, but hopefully she will. Oh, she did. Riley, you little saucy minx. My goodness, this is easier than I thought it was going to be, if I'm honest. She is lapping up the attention. She is loving it right now. Um... <laughs> We're also gonna um, ask a risque question. This can go either way, usually this interaction. Wow, people are loud right now. But yeah, usually this interaction can go either way. But 
she is loving it. Uh, we're going to flirt again. And can we try and kiss her? Is it too... Is it too close? Um, ask her if she's single. Go for it. And, oh my goodness, this woman with the violin. Can you not? <laughs> I have to, like, zoom right out of here because she's, like, really hurting my eardrums. So she is single. Um, we're going to give her a little pickup line. Get a little bit cheesy. Who doesn't love a bit of cheese? Come on. You've got you've to gotta love a little bit of cheese. And we are going to hold her hands. And also, I really wish this woman would shut up so I could go watch their interactions. Uh, we're going to go kiss. Hopefully. Okay, they just went straight into that without, like, any warning. But there we go. We have kissed two out of ten sims. So, thank you very much, Riley. But we are about to head home. So, I'm going to end this part here, guys. Theo is definitely getting more into his player ways. Who knows? Maybe he'll even try something with Sky. I don't know. Um, that could be entertaining, I guess. So we will have to wait and see. But thank you all so much for watching this part. I know that we didn't focus on Sky, but we got that house call and I was like, I want to show this off to you guys. And I've actually never had one of those before. As much as you guys think I play Sims 24-7, I've been really, really busy recently. So I explore get to work in this let's play like i've barely explored a lot of get to work just because i do it in this let's play rather in than in my own games off screen um so yeah there's a lot i haven't done and a lot i am still learning about i know that uh sometimes you guys are like in the comments like you did this wrong or you need to do this and i'm like i'm sorry i am learning as i go so <laughs> i do apologize for that but thank you all so much for watching i really hope you all enjoyed this part it was a little bit all over the place because like i said i'm english and i don't deal with heat well and i'm currently sweltering so i do apologize that i am all over the show probably in this part and probably for the next couple of parts but i hope you all enjoyed it all the same if you did please do give it a big thumbs up and do leave all of your comments and suggestions down below in the next part we will go to sky high i'll show you what i've done over there it has changed quite a little bit so um i'm excited to show you guys and our money is actually racking up like they all make pretty good money a day, so we can definitely just keep adding more and more to Sky High. And I really hope you guys are looking forward to seeing that side of this expansion pack a little bit more. But thank you all so much for watching. I love you all, and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye, guys!